Hello YouTube, Hardworker12 here. Um, making a quick video, I'm sitting in a Subaru that recently had its battery die. And if you have a Subaru that has automatic windows on the driver's side and the passenger side, this does something weird. So as you can see, my driver's side window works, but does not go automatic. And my passenger side window I can do whatever I want with this switch and it doesn't roll down. If I go over to the passenger side, I can roll it down and I can roll it up, but it's not automatic, okay? So we need to reset the windows. Now, something I wanna point out, these switches are two position switches. So you can push it sort of halfway down to just roll down the window a little bit, or you can push it all the way down to the second position to do the automatic window rolling, okay? So that's important, keep that in mind. So with the driver door open, I'm gonna unroll the window all the way, but I only pushed it to the first switch position. I didn't push it all the way down, and I'm gonna do the same thing, rolling it back up, and I'm gonna hold it, Hold this switch for about three seconds. And now if I've done that properly, there, automatic window works. Automatic window works. So the key to that is, once you've rolled up the window completely, hold it for about three seconds and don't pull the switch all the way. Now I'm gonna go fix the passenger side. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the passenger side, engine running, door open, push down halfway, roll the window all the way down, pull up halfway, roll the window all the way up, hold for about three seconds. And now, auto works, auto works. And I'm back in the car, my passenger side switch now works. So there you go. That's how you fix your windows if your battery goes dead in a Subaru. Have a great day.